You don't want to jump into intimacy choreography too early in the rehearsal process. So what do you do when you get to that part in the blocking? Hi, and welcome back to Music and Theatre Education. I'm Michelle, and I'm an intimacy safety advocate. And today we're going to be talking about placeholders. What is a placeholder? A placeholder is an action that represents where another action will go. In this context, it takes the place of an intimate action that needs to be blocked. For example, a kiss. A placeholder also acts as a reminder to the director that they need to come back to this section, and it makes it clear to the actors that it will be blocked safely. Placeholders can also be used outside of an intimacy context. For example, with fight choreography or any sort of technical theatre where safety is important. What sort of actions can you use as a placeholder? Well, my go-to is a high five, but any action that isn't intimate or sexual is fine. I've also used silly dancing in the place of an intimate sexual slow dance, which isn't great for characterization, uh, but was perfect for early in rehearsals. And it also got my actors comfortable with the, each other as well. You want to make sure that any placeholder keeps some distance between your actors in case illness is the reason for using the placeholder. When do I use a placeholder? Well, we've talked about using them before intimacy is blocked, but can they be used at any other time? The answer is yes. If during your boundary check-in someone says they don't feel like doing intimacy that day, someone is unwell, Someone forgot to clean their teeth and has terrible breath. Someone calls button and requests placeholders. It's tech rehearsal and the intimacy is not relevant to the tech team. Do you need to tell your director why you want to use placeholders? No, your boundaries, your business, unless it's going to put someone else at risk. But remember, if it's because another actor is not respecting your boundaries, you need to raise it with the production team. If you have an intimacy coordinator, they are going to be your number one advocate. And if it's going to be a tough conversation to have, your cast welfare officer is there to support you. And that's placeholders. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments or get in touch on Facebook or Instagram. Thanks for joining me on Music and Theatre Education. Please like and subscribe and remember, Passion fades. Choreography is forever.